everyone, how's it going? So today we're going to be doing uh, Redcliffe, but I'm going to do some camp stuff first. Got to give that grimoire to Morgan, I guess, and then we'll head out. So, gifts. Notice of termination? No, I don't think so. Oh, right, I forgot to give it to that guy. Uh, I feel like a goof. So this, I think, goes to Leliana. All oh, the wars overlay. Thank you so much. Uh, what else? At Tranchy Amulet? No, that probably goes to win, but I don't use her. I, that's a wonderful thought. Oh no, she loved it. I don't know what to say. Hey, okay, Morgan. What? You found Flemeth's grimoire? Ever since we discovered the condition of the Mage's Tower, I had wondered if it might be recoverable. But I had yet to speak of it to you. How fortunate that you found it on your own. You have my thanks. I will begin study of the tome immediately. I do not intend to squander this opportunity to learn more than Flemeth wished me to know. This should be interesting. Plus 12. There we go. Yeah, so let's do... We're going to do the DLC here, like, right before the end of the game. Yeah, probably before the final battle in Denerim. So, Redcliffe, Village, and Castle. I'm hoping we can fit both into one today. Which we'll probably aim for. So, i like to have our number two, so I can unlock chests pretty quickly. Indeed. Yes. I needed to check her build as well to see if she can tank in bear mode. I kind of want to test that here, too. Uh, so... Where are we? Redcliffe Village. Because I want to unlock Blood Mage, and that's where you do it. And you need the Circle Tower for that. To finish it. So I'm going to unlock the Demon for Blood Mage, and then quick load, and then do the normal way I want to do it. Word, there are demands from the Banorn that you step down from the Regency. They are said to be gathering their forces, as are your allies. It appears it will be civil war after all, despite the Darkspawn. Pity. I also have an interesting report. There seem to be Grey Wardens who survived Ostagar. How, I don't know. But they will act against you. I have arranged for a... a solution. With your leave. The Antivan Crows send their regards. An assassin. Against Grey Wardens, we will need the very best. <laughs> <laughs> and the most expensive. Just get it done. It is so like Arl How to hire an assassin, isn't it? So usually, oh, these are just, uh, I thought I had to fight Severin right here. Ah, a fellow traveler of the Fair Lands. Are you a seeker, perchance? My packs are light, but I have a toe. Of strange origin. A Deus V Eternus, rumored to be the last message to a sinful world from the Maker himself. I have uh, no idea what you're talking about, and uh, neither do these large men carrying swords. Get them! What? <laughs> Why? He's gonna like sell me a book and then he just turns around and he's like, kill them! Oh, it's because I mentioned the tower. The hooligans. Actual hooligans. Yeah, thugs. Hey, what does telekinetic weapons even do? 
Um, telekinetic energy that increases armor pen. Okay, so it's good for like heavily armored enemies. And the scoundrels everywhere. On it. I love the soundtrack in this game. It is so good. Like it's so eerie and memorable at the same time. Like you know when you get a game soundtrack that you hear all the time when you're like working or sleeping or whatever. This is one of those games. You're like I'll be sitting at work and I'll just hear the fade music Look, playing. Can we talk for a moment? Oh. I need to tell you something. I um, should probably have told you earlier. <laughs> no, that's not nice, is it? Well, uh, let's see. How do I tell you this? We're almost at Redcliffe. Did I say how I know Arl Eamon exactly? I'm a bastard. My mother was a serving girl at Redcliffe Castle, and she died when I was born. Arl Eamon took me in and raised me before I was sent to the Chantry. The reason he did that was because, well... Because my father was King Marek, which made Kaelin my half-brother, I suppose. How? When would I say that? Oh, by the way, King Marek had sex with a servant and she produced a bastard son. That's me. I would have told you, but it never really meant anything to me. I was inconvenient, a possible threat to Kaelin's rule, and so they kept me secret. I'd never talked about it to anyone. Everyone who knew either resented me for it or they coddled me. Even Duncan kept me out of the fighting because of it. I didn't want you to know as long as possible. I'm sorry. That's okay. Kaelin wasn't that bad. Why wouldn't he? He was King Marek's best friend. I don't know if that means anything, though. I certainly never considered the idea that it might ever be important. Al Eamon eventually married a young woman from Orlais, despite all the problems it caused with the king so soon after the war. He loved her a great deal. Anyway, the new Arlesa resented the rumors which pegged me as the Arl's bastard. They weren't true, but of course they existed. The Arl didn't care, but she did. Oh boy. I was packed to the nearest monastery. Yep. <laughs> Just as well. The Arlesa made sure the castle wasn't a home to me by that point. She despised me. What a B word. Maybe. She felt threatened by my presence. I can see that now. I can't say I blame her. She wondered if the rumors were true herself, I bet. I remember I had an amulet with Andraste's holy symbol on it. The only thing I had of my mother's. I was so furious at being sent away i tore it off and threw it at the wall and it shattered stupid stupid thing to do the owl came by the monastery a few times to see how i was but i was stubborn i hated it there and blamed him for everything and eventually he just stopped coming and raised by dogs or i may as well have been the way i acted but maybe all young bastards act like that. I don't know. All I know is that the Arl is a good man and well loved by the people. Yeah, sounds like a good guy. Kalen's uncle, so he has a personal motivation to see Logain pay for what he did. So there you have it. Now can we move on? So he was like the king's brother then? I think I'm some nobody who was too lucky to die with the rest of the Grey Wardens. Oh, lovely. I'm going to regret this. Somehow I just know it. This should be easy enough. Hey Morgan. So I want to give her cons. I want to turn into a semi-tank. Air mode. Okay, so let's see if it actually. Okay, what do we got? Rage, slam. I kind of want her to try. 
So tactics. And So let's do self any activate mode bear shape. It's surrounded by enemies. They activate frost. Drain life um enemies. Clustered. Oh, she doesn't have anything. A um, enemy. Actually, let's just go to her for a sec, see what she has. What? Oh, she's mad. Or mind blast. She, yeah, she doesn't really have anything else just yet. So I'll leave her tactics as they are. I saw travelers coming down the road, though I scarcely believed it. Have you come to help us? So you... you don't know? Has nobody out there heard? We're under attack. Monsters come out of the castle every night and attack us until dawn. Everyone's been fighting and dying. Apparently everyone seems to agree that a blight is the perfect time to start killing each other. Marvelous, really. We've no army to defend us. No Arl and no king to send us help. So many are dead. <laughs> Butt shot. Those left are terrified they're next. Hold on, what is this evil that's attacking you? I, I, I don't rightly know. I'm sorry, nobody does. I should take you to Ban Tegan. He's all that's holding us together. He'll want to see you. Ban Tegan, our Lehman's brother. He's here. Yes. It's not far, if you'll come with me. Are these people with you? They are obviously not simple travelers. No, my lord. They just arrived, and I thought you would want to see them. Well done, Thomas. Greetings, friends. My name is Tegan, Ban of Rainosphere, brother to the R. I remember you, Ban Tegan. Though the last time we met, I was a lot younger and covered in mud. Covered in mud? Alistair? It is you, isn't it? You're alive! This is wonderful news! Still alive, yes. Though not for long, if Tern Loghain has anything to say about it. Indeed. Loghain would have us believe all Grey Wardens died along with my nephew, amongst other things. What, that he pulled his men in order to save them? That Caelan risked everything in the name of glory? <laughs> hardly. Loghain calls the Grey Wardens traitors, murderers of the King. I don't believe it. It is an act of a desperate man. So you are a Grey Warden as well. A pleasure to meet you. I wish it were under better circumstances. You're here to see my brother. Unfortunately, that might be a problem. Eamon is gravely ill. No one has heard from the castle in days. No guards patrol the walls, and no one has responded to my shouts. The attack started a few nights ago. Evil things surged from the castle. We drove them back, but many perished during the assault. Oh, that's not good. How pointless to help these villagers fight an impossible battle. One would think we had enough to contend with elsewhere. Thank you. Thank you. This means more to me than you can guess. Thomas, please tell Murdoch what transpired. Then return to your post. Yes, my lord. Now then, there is much to do before night falls. I put two men in charge of the defense outside. Murdoch, the village mayor, is outside the Chantry. Sir Perth, one of Eamon's knights, is just up the cliff at the windmill, watching the castle. You may discuss with them the preparations for the coming battle. 
Very well. Luck be with you, my friend. Okay, let's get these guys set up for the assault, and then we can go into the castle. Blessed art thou who exists in the maker's sight. Blessed art thou who seeks his forgiveness. Let's get started. Blessed art thou who seeks his forgiveness. Okay, she has frost weapons on, so let's take that off. I'm scared, mother. When are the bad men coming? <laughs> Morgan's in bear form. Awesome. I never ever get her to shapeshift in, when I play with her. So this time it's just interested in that. That's why I get them to do potion tactics, because don't rely on healing too much. I might get one point. But I haven't heard Because what you want is like spirit healer, blood mage. I am. You've heard of me? I I thought that might be the case. Thank you for telling me. Maker's blessings upon you. I So if you remember, she was that was part of the Jogby quest in the Kokaria Wilds. What are we going to do? Sorry. Am I bothering you? I'll, I'll try to be more quiet. Those... those things dragged my mother away. I don't know what happened to her, but I hear her screaming all the time. Everywhere. How terrible, you poor thing. I wish there was something we could do to help. And now my brother Bevan, he, he ran off. I, I don't know where he is. I'm so scared they got him too. He said something about saving mother. He's just a little boy. He doesn't understand she's gone. If he has foolishly run off, then he is no doubt dead. You should get used to that fact. Nice. Maybe you want to kick her in the head while you're at it. Shall we comfort her with lies? If she is to face death, better she face it honestly. I hope he didn't try to go to the castle. Oh, that would be awful. You will. Thank you so much. Please find him. Silence, girl. You know, you don't see a character like that anymore. Like Morrigan, that like sort of uh, talks like that when you're trying to help people out. Like in Inquisition, at least, I don't remember that. It's difficult to breathe within with all that self. Still no sign of them coming back from the castle, Murdoch. So you're the Grey Warden, are you? Well, the haircuts in this place. They made women Grey Wardens. So you say. A damn Kunari could walk up and say he was a Grey Warden. I wouldn't know the difference. We aren't going to turn aside anyone who wants to help, though. Don't take me for being an ingrate or nothing. Well, we do want to help however we can. You can trust us. Name's Murdoch, mayor of what's left of the village, providing we aren't all killed and hauled off to the castle tonight. Fair enough. What can I do for you? We need what little armor and weapons we got repaired, and quickly, or half of us will be fighting without either. Owen's the only blacksmith who can do it, but the stubborn fool refuses to even talk. If we're to be ready for tonight, we'll need that crotchety bastard's help. We could use some extra bodies. Having a veteran like Dwin in the militia would help a lot, but he flat out refuses. Right. Let's hope we see morning. Okay, so let's find Dwin. I think we want the supplies up there. And let's go find that kid. I believe, if I remember right, he's in a village somewhere. This is Caitlin's home. Now. She probably gives me that key for helping her out. Go away. This isn't your home. This is my home. My home, you hear me? How? How do you know my name? Did, did she tell you to take me back to the Chantry? Don't make me go back there. I hate that place. I hate it. Everybody's scared. But they tell me I shouldn't be scared. And they tell me I shouldn't be sad that mother died. I 
I don't want to be sad. I'm brave. I'm going to be a hero. I'm going to fight them off. I will. Right. No. No. I just heard you coming and I guess that's not very brave of me, is it? I'll... I'll come out now. All right. I came out. You won't hurt me. Will you? I'll go back to the Chantry if you really want. I... I can't tell you. It's a secret. No. I won't tell you. And you can't make me. You can't. Oh, okay, see you later. <laughs> Not enough persuade and cunning. I remember when I play as a rogue. You can get pretty much convinced everyone of everything. Probably won't be able to convince Dwayne though. All right, oil. Lilian, it's your turn. It's done. Okay, so she needs a lot more skill. just broke into his house wonderful intruders i hope you have a good reason for breaking and entering into my home apology accepted the name's dwin pleased to meet you now get out so what you're recruiting for him i'll tell you what i told murdoch i'm not risking my neck for this town why not maybe let's hear what you've got how about some gold? Are you serious? I won't even stick my head out my door for less than a hundred silvers. You're getting off easy there. But like you say, I guess this town needs a hero. You better be out there too when the sun goes down. I'm not fighting for a lost cause, you hear me? I lost the gold, but you know what? It's all good. I want the good ending for this village. Okay, all good. Let's go up to the hill now. This looks so much different in Inquisition. Completely remade. Okay, and the blacksmith should be right here too. Go away. Curse you. Leave me in peace. You've already taken everything out of my stores. There's nothing left. Oh, who is that? What do you want? I've been to enough. Certainly not. I don't know you and I don't want to. Off you go. That's so. Well, if Bernard wants more weapons, you can give him the same answer I did. He can make them himself. If you didn't notice, the smithy is closed, the forge is cold, you've come to the wrong place. All right, all right. But I don't know why you're so determined. Yeah, I'll get the locks. Make his breath. What is that smell? It's like someone set a brewery on fire. Somebody's been drinking. So I let you in. You wanted to talk. Now we're talking. Mind telling me who you are? The Grey Warden, is it? <laughs> It takes all kinds. Anyhow, my name's Owen, though you might already know that. Care to join me as I get besotted? Or is there something in particular you wanted? Let's get besotted together. Why should I help Murdoch when he won't help me? Hmm? My girl, Felena. Is one of the Alessa's maids, and she's trapped up there in the castle, but the mayor won't send anyone for her. She's been my life since my wife passed on two years ago. Now she's dead, or soon to be. I don't care what happens to me, or the village, or anyone! 
It'd do me the world of good to think maybe someone like you could go in and find her. Provided any of us live through the night. Not good enough. Murdoch said the same damn thing. And I didn't believe him either. You are asking a great deal, you wretched little man. I want to promise. Promise me that you'll look for her. That you'll bring her back to me if you can. I'll accept that. I know where she is. It's something to hope for, at least. Oh, lovely. Shall we next begin rescuing kittens from trees? I love kittens. Right, then. It seems I have some work to do. Relighting. I hope as a cat in Veilguard, you can, like, leave in her room or, or whatever. Maybe at the mill. Oh, Murdoch just better send his men here as soon as possible if I'm going to get to all these repairs and get them done by nightfall. If you need anything done, well... I think my arcane shield is I've got a lot to do now. causing lighting issues. Me. Hey, I see you found my hiding place. I stuck some old equipment in there before Murdoch could get his hands on it. I don't think there's anything you'll need in there, but it's hard to say. I was in a bit of a rush when I filled it up. Not if I'm going to repair the equipment they have. That stuff is old, anyhow. Yeah, let me open it for you. I have the key. Uh, what's the junk? I must admit, it feels good to be up and doing something finally. There's no way I'm sobering up before morning, however. I've you to thank for that, stranger. Just do what you've promised. Right. I haven't got much, obviously, but I'll do whatever I can for you. Oh, man, he made a lot of stuff already. Okay, get out of here. I think we can tell the guys at the top of the hill about that oil. Oh, that is a building. Or a door. They can get in there. The bar. Another doomed soul come to drown their sorrows here, I see. If you came here for a drink, you'd have to talk to Lloyd. He's got a vice grip on the spigots. I'm just here to keep the boys from mutiny. Not much. He's very quiet. Says his name's Beric and he's here to meet his brother, but I think he's lying. He's a bit creepy. Keep safe. I can't believe Lloyd won't even give us some free ale. A time like this, and all he thinks about is turning a profit. Did you expect any different? That bastard's always been cheaper than an antique from the hall. Here we are defending the village, and he don't even have the decency to help us out. You're telling me we're just trying to survive, and here he is making a profit. Ah, uh, what difference does it make? He won't care. Hello there, friend. Can't say we've ever met before. Stranger to the village, I take it. Haven't had many travelers lately. All this nonsense is bad for business. Bet you regret coming, yes? Right, I've got some supplies too, in case you're interested. With the store closed down, it doesn't hurt to pick up some of the slack, eh? What do you got? I'll buy some potions. Hey, what can I get you? 
Why shouldn't I? They may not have much coin, but I'm not giving it away for free. Hey, there's no need for that kind of talk. That's murder. Hey, look, see, 80 silvers. I could pay you to uh, protect me. There's no need for any unpleasantness. But, but I... Oh, all right. But all of this better be here when I get back. I don't want a place drunk out from under me. Blasted bloody. <laughs> there you go, guys. Good things on you tonight. Hopefully. Hey, Morgan. I see you got that bastard Lloyd to join the militia. It's about time you did something to help out. I guess this puts me in charge. <laughs> Poor Lloyd will have an apoplexy just thinking about it, eh? <laughs> Lloyd wouldn't care much for that. It's an excellent idea. You hear that, boys? Drinks for the militia are on the house. Ha <laughs> ha! You're the best, darling. You just keep us all safe, boys. And stay alive. Keep safe and come back any time. I won't lock up until near sundown. <laughs> I've never actually done that before. Like, talk to them? Not looking for company. What? How did you know that? Uh, well, that's my name. Why? My what? Oh, yes. He was supposed to meet me here. And then I got stuck here when monsters from the castle attacked. I was told I didn't have to. I stay in the Chantry at night, and I come here to... to be alone, that's all. Look, you're very pretty and all, but I was told to... Uh, just leave me alone. Nothing! Nobody told me to do anything. Just because you're a Grey Warden doesn't mean you can go around threatening people. I just, uh, overheard it, that's all. If you'll excuse me, I want to get to the Chantry before the sun goes down. I don't want trouble. I... I'm going to the Chantry now. Just leave me alone. All right, all right, I'll tell you. Just... Don't hurt me. This is more than I bargained for. Look, they just paid me to watch the castle and send word if anything should change. But they never said anything about monsters. I haven't even been able to report anything since this started. I'm stuck, same as you, I swear. A tall fellow, I forget his name. He uh, said he was working for Hal, Arl Rendon Hal. He's an important man, Terran Logan's right hand. So I didn't do anything wrong. Just to report any changes, honest. All I could send word about was the Arl getting sick. After that, monsters started coming from the castle. I don't know anything about these creatures. When the Arl got sick, I got scared that people would think I was involved. But I swear I don't know anything about it. They sent me to watch. Maybe they knew the Arl would get sick. I don't know. Here, this is a letter from them. It has instructions and everything. Keep Ooh, that'll help. You want with it. I just thought I was serving the king and making a bit of coin on the side. You have to believe me. Oh, all right. I'll do it. Thank you for your mercy. I won't forget it. But he was Hal's henchman. I guess uh, Hal must have uh, poisoned him then. If he was having someone watch. So what do you think will happen to all those people we left behind in Lodorin? Some of them will find their way to Denerim. Many will die, as the Maker wills. Don't you wish you could have stayed there? To help more people, I mean. If the blight is in stopped, eh Greetings, Grey Warden. I am as relieved as Van Tegan is to see you here. I must admit, I do not know quite how to address you. Is my lady sufficient? 
As you wish, and thank you kindly. I am Sir Perth, until recently in direct service of Arl Eamon of Redcliffe. For now my charge is defending the village from these evil assaults. Would that I had chosen not to seek out the urn of sacred ashes. Perhaps I would have fended off whatever evil befell the castle. Or perhaps I would be dead. Ah well, with the Grey Warden aiding our defense, perhaps all is not lost. We have sufficient armor and weapons, but my knights are too few to stand against the monsters without assistance. Perhaps you could approach Mother Hannah in the Chantry for some holy protection against these evil creatures. Otherwise, I do not know what else you could provide beyond your own talents. We're as prepared for the onslaught as we could possibly be, all things considered. No one told me of this. Oil, you say? How much exactly? Assuming that would hurt them. Yes, I see what you have in mind. That might be effective, if used carefully. Yes, excellent idea. I'll send some men to collect the oil. We'll use it to slow these creatures down. Have you anything else to ask me in the meantime? No, nothing comes to mind. If you have not spoken to the mayor, Murdoch, you should. His militia is far more in need of aid than we are. As you wish, Grey Warden. Make a watch over you. All right, we let him know. So I wonder if I should set up some traps if I have traps. Let's see. Just trap triggers. Now, can Liliana make any? I don't think so. No, I don't think any of us have it. Okay. When I play my rogue on my own after I beat this game, I think I would actually invest in traps to play a normal. Because I was thinking of putting like a whole bunch here. I've never actually finished the game on normal, just casual. I mean, I don't like difficulty anyway. I like playing as is, but... I wonder if we can convince the... Holy Mother, is that what they called her? To give them some sort of, um, buff? Talk to her first. And Caitlyn. Their numbers just keep growing each night. Bevan said you were the one who found him. I can't possibly repay you. The Maker sent you. I just know it. Thank you again. You are a stranger amongst us. And a mage, I see. Yet you still defend our home in its darkest hour. We are grateful. Not many in these modern days would honestly say the same. You are a woman of worth, and the Maker will smile upon you. Allow me to introduce myself. I am revered Mother Hannah, head of this Chantry, which for the moment is a place of refuge for these poor villagers. How awful this must be for you all. Is this everyone who's left? All those who cannot defend themselves, yes. They are terrified of tonight's attack, and I fear these walls will not keep them safe. What can I do to help with your task? I have done all I can for them. I pray for them each night and seek the Maker's forgiveness for their sins before they face their deaths. What Sir Perth seeks is something that is not in my power to give. I can pray with them and give them my blessing. But Sir Perth wants me to call upon the Maker to shield them from evil. Well, can't you just tell him the Maker will watch over him? Morale is a powerful thing, you know. You mean you want me to let them think the Maker protects them in a real sense? I will not lie to them like that. I cannot do it. I know that their own faith may inspire them, but these men need to find confidence on their own. I, I simply won't lie to them. Okay. Now, please, let me tend to these poor folk. I must do what I can, and I suggest you do the same. Right. Well, I think I've done everything that I can. This should be easy enough. There's those three. Where's that the bar guy? Oh, there's uh, Berwick. That's it, Murdoch. I 
hear you got the tavern serving the militia free ale now. While I don't favor my men being drunk come sundown, I suppose it helps morale to have their minds taken off. What's to come? You have my thanks. Well, it looks like Owen's finally doing the repairs we need. The damn fool is falling over a drunk and still manages to make smithying look easy. Good enough, I say. I'll inform Bantigan the militia is ready to fight. We'll give those bastards a welcome they won't soon forget. We'll do our best. We'll fight until we can't fight anymore. However long that is. Are you sure? There's still time left if you need to talk with Sir Perth or do anything else. I have a good feeling about to... The repairs are underway surprisingly quickly. Thanks for persuading him to come out here. He's going to be a great help. I just know it. There's not much time before sundown. Are you sure? There's still time left. Then good luck to you. You'll need it. boy look at all that i want to save murdoch i don't i like to save him i know if you don't do everything you just like start the the battle he just he dies like right away Sir, what are you doing? Just walked right into it. All right. Hey, Morgan, you got a heal? Does she have tactics set up for her? Yeah, okay, she does. It's on cooldown. Oh. It would probably also help if they would not walk in fire. Is. So I 
Flurion Potion. Okay, let's go. Oh shoot, they're already fighting. almost dead. Asha, Alistair. When you do AoE, it actually hurts everybody. So this part would be really hard, I think. Oh, there we go. Oh, damn, they just keep coming. Did we lose everybody? Wasn't Dwin here? Dawn arrives and we survive the night. We are victorious. And though this victory came at great cost, we must remember none of us would be here were it not for the heroism of these good folk beside me. I thank you, dear lady. Truly the Maker smiled on us when he sent you here in our darkest hour. Surely these people deserve some small celebration, don't you think? There is time yet. Let us bow our heads and give honor to those who gave their lives in defense of Redcliffe. Sir Perth, valiant knight in the service of Arl Eamon of Redcliffe, we salute you. Murdoch of Redcliffe, what? <laughs> and beloved father, we salute you. You and so many others who Oh no. <gasps> I think I burned them with my spell. Long may you know the peace of his love. With the Maker's favor, the blow we delivered today is enough for me to enter the castle and seek out your Arl. Be wary and watch for signs of renewed attack. We shall return with news as soon as we are able. Now we've no time to waste. Meet me at the mill. We can talk further there. Oh, you can heal the villagers. And you're supposed to have win for that because Morgan doesn't have any healing spells. 
Okay, when I do this next time, I'm going to bring Wynn. And I might keep her in bear form, and I might... I don't know. I might just not take Morgan when I do this on my rogue. Yeah, so you can heal, like, Sir Perth. Like, they kept dying. And the oil up there killed Sir, Sir Perth. You see, I let my, my characters, like, walk right into it. So you're supposed to let them engage first, because my characters died, too, going through the fire. Anyways, so let's go to the castle. Rip. Well, I wonder if that bartender died. It looked like everyone did but us. Including Dwin. Ha <laughs> He did! I admit, for a while, I didn't think either of us would survive. It's good to see you did. Anything I can get you? Good luck to you, then. Yeah, so next time I do this, I'm not going to get the oil. Or at least I'm going to let the knights engage first and let the zombies come to me, which is what you're supposed to do, not run in. I think because I have Alistair set to aggressive. And you're supposed to heal the important characters. Wow. Whoops. Hey, there's a Templar here. Move along, friend. Thank you. Odd how quiet the castle looks from here. You would think there was nobody inside at all. But I shouldn't delay things further. I had a plan. To enter the castle after the village was secure. There is a secret passage here, in the mill, accessible only to my family. Perhaps I should have gone into the castle earlier, but I could not leave the villagers. Maker's breath. Tigan. Thank the Maker, you yet live. Isolde, you're alive. How did you... What has happened? I do not have much time to explain. I slipped away from the castle as soon as I saw the battle was over. And I must return quickly. And I... need you to return with me, Tigan. Alone. What? Who is this woman, Tigan? You remember me, Lady Isolde, don't you? Alistair. Of all the... Why are you here? They are Grey Wardens, Isolde. I owe them my life. Pardon me, I... I would exchange pleasantries, but... Considering the circumstances... Please, Lady Isolde. We had no idea anyone was even alive within the castle. We must have some answers. I know you need more of an explanation, but I, I... I don't know what is safe to tell. Tigan, there is a terrible evil within the castle. The dead waken and, and haunt the living. The mage responsible was caught, but still it continues. And I think Connor is going mad. We have survived, but he won't flee the castle. He has seen so much death. You must help him, Tigan. You are his uncle. You could reason with him. I do not know what else to do. The king is dead, and we need my brother now more than ever. I will return to the castle with you, Isolde. <gasps> Thank the Maker. Bless you, Tigan. <gasps> Bless you. I have no illusions of dealing with this evil alone. You, on the other hand, have proven quite formidable. Isolde, can you excuse us for a moment? We must confer in private before I return to the castle with you. Please do not take too long. I will be by the bridge. Here's what I propose. I go in with Isolde, and you enter the castle using the secret passage. My signet ring unlocks the door. Perhaps I will... Distract whatever evil is inside and increase your chances of getting in unnoticed. What do you say? Then it's for the best. I would prefer to go inside with you, but I have no choice in the matter. I don't think we can afford to strip any of the few defenders the village has left, just in case. Here is my signet ring. It will open the lock on the door in the mill. Whatever you do, Eamon is the priority here. If you have to, just get him out of there. Isolde, me, and anyone else, we are expendable. 
You're a good woman. The Maker smiled on me indeed when he sent you to Redcliffe. So we are just going to send him with that woman? It seems so dangerous. But I can delay no longer. Allow me to bid you farewell. And good luck. Good luck. Okay, we gotta level up. Holy shit, wait, she has like no health. There we go. Wondering about that. Sign to distract and confuse. Uh, I'd rather have combat movement for her. Oh wait, she has no dual weapon ability. All right, because they want her to be an archer and archery sucks. It really, really, really does. But it's funny, like it's decent in two, but three, it's awesome. It's like the best spec in three. Like the arch, the archery rogue is like so much damage in Inquisition. I've heard in four, it's very good as well. Okay, well, I think that's it for the village. It's about an hour, so I think we'll split this up and we'll do the castle tomorrow. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do Redcliffe Castle and the section with Connor as well with the Circle of Magi. Okay, I'll see you guys next time.